Are you still getting problems with playing games at a hundred and fra- a hundred and- hundred and frames? A hundred and frames! That's tech speak right there. A hundred and frames. Hi everyone, it's Stu here from 3B. Now, you may recall last year there was a bit of a hoo-ha about Denon and Marantz, same company, um, having had issues with 120 hertz on displays that can display that, so sort of most, most decent new televisions can do that. Um, and it would cause, if you were playing your pass, if you're putting your Xbox Series X or your PlayStation 5 through your Denon or Marantz, um, AVR, it would crap out. It would just show a blank screen. It wouldn't be able to pass through. It wouldn't be able to do anything at all. Denon, Marantz, uh, issued loads of sort of workaround fixes by having your uh, PS5 or your Xbox Series X connected directly to your TV and then the audio fed back to the <clears throat> to the to the AVR from using ARC or EARC. But now, thankfully, they have come up with a permanent fix and they've obviously figured out that it's just cheaper for them to give away a free bit of kit that fixes the issue rather than recalling a whole bunch of AVRs at enormous cost and then working on those. This new bit of kit, which has uh, got a sexy name by the name of SPK618 adapter, mmm, sexy, uh, basically fixes the problem and how it works is basically it's a uh, a little box that needs to be powered so it needs another socket sadly and you have your HDMI cable from your game console your Xbox Series X or your PlayStation 5 being fed into this box of tricks and then that box of tricks will then send the boosted, refined, buggered about signal uh, back to your AVR amp so it can work with it properly. So here's the thing, uh, it's only available in UK, Germany and the Netherlands and France at the moment and there is a link in the description of this video that allows you to go and register for your um, free box which they'll send to you absolutely free um, if you live in those countries so you can order from May the 15th just go to the page um, there's one for Denon and one for Marantz and register your details if you don't live in uh, the UK, Netherlands um, and so on the countries that I mentioned which are UK, Germany, Netherlands and France you can still get this, but you'll have to go to your um, supplier where you got your AVR amp from and ask them to either give you the, the, the link that they'll have available possibly or maybe they'll even get it for you. But you are eligible to get one. You should be able to get one because it's a basically a balls up by Denon, Marantz, that um, created this issue and uh, this is the cheapest way that they've obviously figured out how to fix it. I would really thoroughly recommend uh, that you get it anyway even if you don't ever intend on playing a game at 120 Hertz. The reason being is that one day you will want to sell your AVR amp and get something new and shiny and there is a possibility that that person will have done their homework and will say, do you have that adapter? Because, you know, whether they use it or not, they will still want it because that is a, a function within the amp that should have been there on the get-go. So even if you never intend on using that aspect of your amp, buy it, well, don't buy it, you should get it for free. Get it anyway. There you go, I hope that's been of use. Uh, give me a thumbs up if it has, a thumbs down if you're feeling a bit miserable. Don't forget to subscribe and of course, click the bell to be alerted of a next rambling video. 
I do plan to do some reviews, but just time is short and stuff. You know, stuff. Anyway, have a good day. See you next time. Are you still having problems playing a game at 100 frames? 100, I'm doing it again. 100 frames.